My name is Daniel Hebert, safety representative at ASC. Having a good body position is one of the biggest steps you can take towards avoiding injuries at work. Bad body positions lead to long lasting injuries to major body parts like the back or the shoulders. Unfortunately, it is all too easy to bend, twist, lift and crouch the wrong way, especially in a production environment like our shop. To avoid these injuries, let's learn how to use body positions to make a task safer. This is called ergonomics. Before getting started with a task, analyze the work environment. Look for potential hazards and think of ways to mitigate them. This is called a job safety analysis or a JSA. When performing your JSA, it is critical to consider your body position during the task. Will the task be performed sitting down, standing up, working from a table, or working on the ground? Regardless of which position you are working in, start thinking about the ergonomics of the task. You may be able to make a task safer simply by adjusting the position you are working in. For example, if your work materials are sitting on the ground, put them on a table to eliminate added strain of bending and working on your knees. Now, let's review a few of the biggest contributors to body position injuries. We'll start at the back. Your back position is a huge factor in ergonomics. An awkward back position will quickly go from soreness to pain to an injury. Thankfully, bad back positions are avoidable. Here's what you need to do. First, keep your back aligned with the rest of your body. When working at a stationary task, your feet, hips, and shoulders should be facing the same direction. When working at a moving task, change positions by moving your feet. Do not keep your feet planted and twist at the waist. Second, adjust your work so that you can perform it standing with your back straight or sitting. These are comfortable working positions. Avoid working from the ground or overhead as these positions cause you to bend or strain your back. Bear in mind that you are usually in your working position for a while, so don't be afraid to move things around before you get started. Third, keep your back straight when lifting. Most of us know the expression, lift with your legs, not your back. That's because injuries are likely to occur when you lift with your back. You may get away with it once, twice, or even a dozen times, but eventually bending at your back will catch up with you. Meanwhile, lifting from your legs engages your leg muscles and your core to maximize your power and stability. Just remember to keep your feet shoulder distance apart and the weight close to your body. Finally, avoid lifting anything over 50 pounds. Even objects that are under 50 pounds can be hazardous if they are awkwardly shaped, out of balance, or otherwise difficult to move around. Restricted movement is another factor in body position injuries. When you are forced to stoop, crouch, and work on your back or your knees for extended periods of time, you are more likely to get muscle strains. So, what should you do if your task restricts your movement? First, do some stretches. Stretching will increase your flexibility, range of motion, and increase blood flow to your muscles. All of this will reduce the risk of pulling a muscle throughout the day, especially when you get in a tight space. Try stretching your shoulders, your arms, your back, and your legs for maximum ergonomic success. Second, keep your body as straight as possible. Leaning to one side or the other is going to increase the strain going to that one side of your body. Third, use an ergonomic mat when standing or lying on the ground and use knee pads when kneeling. These tools give your body some relief from the hard concrete floor. You don't notice it when you are walking around, but when you are in a position for a long time, your body can start to ache from extended contact with the floor. Putting down an ergonomic mat or resting on knee pads will make working in one position easier for your body. That's it for this video on how to improve your shop ergonomics and reduce the risk of a body position injury. Remember that if it doesn't feel comfortable, your body is telling you to stop. Stay safe, listen to your body, and I'll see you next time.